What's going on, everybody? It's Bulls Nation Station back at it again with another one. And I just wanted to talk about the Chicago Bulls and the position they're in right now. We'll be getting ready to start training camp in less than a month. And, you know, it's interesting to see how the Bulls are going to be because we more than likely nine times out of ten won't have Lonzo Ball. Even though it's not confirmed, you know, it's looking more and more likely each day that Lonzo won't be there to start the season. And I just wanted to say how I feel the Bulls will be more prepared this go around compared to last season to adjust, you know, without Lonzo Ball. And I'll give a few reasons why. But before I do, I want you guys to subscribe to my page as I keep you guys updated with the Bulls content, the Bulls rumors, the Bulls news, the Bulls gossip. But yeah, I'm going to get back into it. And um, the Chicago Bulls, you know, I feel like last year when we lost Lonzo Ball, we was in the midst of a lot of things going wrong. Uh, the few games before, Zach Levine, he injured his knee for the first time where he walked off. You know, I think that was the game against the Golden State Warriors. He felt a slight twitch and never returned. And, you know, we were getting from beating down and, hit with COVID left and right. We had players going in and out. And a lot of you guys don't remember, Lonzo Ball was actually the last remaining player, and he lasted a long time without catching COVID. And so, you know, the the media was amazed. They were like, how do you do it? And, you know, he was just saying how, you know, I don't go nowhere. But, yeah, Lonzo Ball finally got injured. But I feel like when he got injured at that point, we kind of didn't know what to do. We went through a full training camp, you know, with our minds embraced on how we look with Lonzo Ball. We adjusted to how our offense was going through Lonzo, how our defense was going with Lonzo. Lonzo was him and Caruso was the two initiators of our defense. He uh, positioned a lot of players where they needed to be. Offensively, he was the guy to push the pace for us shooting those uh, long-range quarterback passes. And so when he finally was out, not, you know, for a couple games, but for a long period of time, we kind of buckled, you know. Our offense changed dramatically, you know. It wasn't as much ball movement because Lonzo Ball, he was that connecting piece to our offense to where we moved the ball quickly, nine times out of ten, because of Lonzo. You know, defensively, our point of attack defense was never the same after Lonzo left. You know, we still had Caruso, but then he went out hurt. And so, you know, it got to a point where our defense was tough and we had to throw in the rookie out of the sumo. And while he played very well, it was still a lot of things he needed to learn. And so this year, I feel like we're going to be better. We're going to have a full training camp, a full training camp of having our players that we know we're going to have to start the season. We're going to know who we're working with. We're not going to have to adjust any rotations or lineups when it comes to um, Lonzo Ball being out because we're already prepared. It's just going to be, you know, we're going to be ready. We got, we picked up a couple of pieces, insurance pieces, and Goran Dragic, you know, he's been around the league. He's been to the finals. And while he's older and is not as great of a defender, you know, he can still show those veteran instincts when it comes to being a point guard. You know, Andre Drummond, he should help in a lot of areas. And, yeah, I feel like, you know, we're going to be a lot better. And then our players, our rookies from last year, our young players, Ayo Dusumu, you know, he got so much experience. And I feel like that's only going to make him get better for this upcoming season. You know, we played the whole season without Patrick Williams. I expect him to make a jump this season. And so we're going to have a lot more firepower, a lot more backup, and just a lot more talent to where we won't have Lonzo to start the season, but we're going to be good enough to compete. And another thing, I feel like when Lonzo went out, our team was pretty much already beat down. You know, we had a lot of people banked up, injured, in and out of the lineup. You know, Zach wasn't 100. Caruso down with the wrist. Derrick Jones Jr., you know, we're starting off this season outside of Lonzo 100% healthy. And so that means we're going to be able to play some really good, basketball you know the type of basketball we need to win and so hopefully we stays that way and hopefully you know Lonzo Ball will be back sooner than you know it and we're you know we're going to be out waiting for him but yeah comment down below do you guys think the Bulls are in a better position this year to play to start the season off without Lonzo compared to last year and I'm gonna uh, holler at you guys later and don't forget to like this video I'm out